I'm going to do a comparison between Obsidian and OneNote, so let's jump right into it. Cross-platform availability. OneNote comes standard on Windows 10, so users of Windows 10 will find it already installed. It's accessible on Android, Windows, Mac and the web. Obsidian has recently released a new mobile application for iOS and Android. You'll get to the app on Windows, Mac, Linux and the web as well. UI and organization. OneNote is designed just like the other Office applications. The application is divided into three sections, the ribbon, the notebook banner and the note taking space. The ribbon makes access to common actions, it contains named tabs for all actions, the notebook banner contains obviously the user's notebooks. Obsidian uses the term vault, you make a vault and start including folders and notes to it. By default you've got a choice to save the vault on the device, as for the look Obsidian contains a light and dark theme, the default dark theme sure looks eye-catching to me. Fundamentals and note taking. In OneNote you can write notes, record audio, which is also possible in Obsidian, or make handwritten notes with your Apple Pencil for example. You can also add pictures from your phone and do more stuff. I really like the possibility to do handwritten notes for my online classes in med school. OneNote has also an endless space feature, which means you can write and draw as much stuff as you want on one single page. Obsidian works as a second digital brain. Sounds crazy, but it makes actually sense. The complete program is outlined around the linking your thinking concept. It imitates how the human brain works. You can link similar thoughts with each other, which you've written down in Obsidian. As for note taking, Obsidian works with markdown, so it's beneficial to know the markdown syntax for the required result. Features. In OneNote, formats are built in. You can organize data in a notebook in form of a text, image, audio and video, etc. It allows text search, recording, protect sections with password, tags, translate notes, ink to text, etc. Obsidian has two executioner features up its sleeve. The first one is backlinking. This helps the user to connect notes with another notes page, but Obsidian has another powerful second feature as well that strengthens the usefulness of referencing a page, which is the graph view. It shows how the nodes created are linked to each other. Sharing and collaboration. No competition here. OneNote offers consistent collaboration with other individuals. Invite individuals to your workspace and you can tag them with tasks and other project details. In Obsidian, there is no way to welcome others to collaborate on the vault. But privacy should be guaranteed in Obsidian and what I mean with that is all your notes get stored in your local computer. Looking at future, OneNote is working on modern sync services, accessibility improvements and other stuff we don't know about yet. And the company too guarantees to bring a new fluid framework. Obsidian released the app for mobile devices and they are still improving it. We can't hold up to see how Obsidian takes the experience even further. Conclusion. OneNote suits me better when it comes to keeping track during and after online classes in med school. I can write as much handwritten notes as I want on one single page. But when it comes to personal knowledge management, then Obsidian is the right app for me. So we're coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me and see you in the next one. Bye.